At home after several long years of martial or Martian excursions, and the dogs I could see didn't recognize me. They barked, straining their throats and their persons, and the flowers hung strangely in pots on the porch, and the windows glared at me meanly, and the ants and their mounds, like the neighborhood hounds, seemed to find my presence unseemly. And I knocked on the door before having the thought that this house was mine own possession. And I marched through the door, and even the floor creaked in wooden and warped apprehension. I came to the table and smiled at my wife, and she gasped and moved back in horror behind some strange man with a pen in his hand. Who is spooning some eggs with a fork or a knife from the pan onto his plate? And he stopped, then in mid motion, and he raised up his gaze, sitting still at my place to appraise Maria's commotion. My blood, though now cold on account of my age and no longer warming my knuckles. Boiled in my veins and my belt like a chain I prepared till I shout with my book I see how it is I growled at my wife and I scowled at the man at my table He had moved all my stuff, he had stolen my love Now I vowed to make him disabled And Maria cried out Please leave us alone And I found her voice unfamiliar And I looked at her eyes, and to my surprise, I realized it wasn't Maria. Good heavens, I thought, and I scratched at my head. The conclusion need not be belabored. This house wasn't mine. It seemed rather that I had wandered into some neighbors. (laughs) ¶¶